Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be talking about rooster spurs and everything you need to know. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. So without further ado, let's get into it. Rooster spurs, just the sound of the word makes me nervous. The pain caused by these bone-like structures have given a name to other devices intended to cause discomfort. Think cowboy spurs. If you have roosters, you know spurs are one of the most nerve wracking things about roosters or your barn in general. Rooster spur to the back of the leg is excruciatingly painful and could even be deadly and it can cause infections and a newfound fear of your rooster. We know spurs are there, we know they'll hurt, but knowing why roosters have motivations is just as important as keeping our eye on them. So what is a rooster spur? A rooster spur is a pointy, mean looking claw like growth on the leg of a rooster. It looks like another toe, if you will and usually has a slight arch. At the end of this bone-like structure is a extremely sharp point. The spur is covered in a hard layer, similar to that of a beak. Amazingly, you can also find this material on large animals like rhinos as well. When roosters are young, their spurs are not visible. They start showing their faces as tiny little buds within a few months. Over time, this little bump grows and hardens, becomes one of the fiercest weapons in a rooster's artillery. An important note, some hens have spurs as well, so it's not always the most solid indicator that your chick is a rooster. So why do roosters have spurs? Roosters are highly romantic birds and their top priority is protecting their hens. Spurs are sharp weapons that roosters use if an attack is necessary. Predators like dogs, cats, hawks, and anything else that appears threatening may get a swift slice from a rooster if they aren't careful. Roosters will use their talons to fight other roosters. If you've ever seen two roosters fight, it can turn into a bloody deadly mess. And it's primarily due to the spur action. Two roosters may fight over hens, territory, or even food. Mostly, however, they disagree over hens. In the wild, the winner of a cockfight usually doesn't end up dead as he might in confinement where the pen isn't big enough for both of them, nor are there enough hens. In extreme cases, aggressive, overly territorial roosters will attack their humans. Even the sweetest young rooster can change his attitude suddenly, so never turn your back on him or you may have a spur in your calf. Roosters attack humans for the same reason they attack predators and other roosters. Usually it comes down to dominance or protection. So can you remove rooster spur? Yes, but should you? Maybe. A rooster spur has bone material within it, so if you start nipping away at it as if it were a fingernail, you could do some severe damage. With that being said, you can have it permanently removed, but if you decide to go this route, consider consulting a vet. On the other hand, simple grooming and trimming of the spur, often enough to prevent severe injury to humans or even hens during mating. Now, just remember, if you do remove spurs, you're leaving your rooster defenseless against predators, but it may be worth it if he's harming hens or guests to your farm. However, if your rooster is plain old nasty, and mean, removing their spur is a lot of work and probably not going to stop him from chasing you around regardless. And in this situation, culling the rooster may be a better option. Let's face it, he still has a beak and other claws to contend with. Not to mention getting chased by a rooster is quite traumatizing, almost life-changing when you think about it. Now, how to stay safe around rooster spurs. Here's the thing, roosters are great to have around if you can. Some city laws will not allow the king of the coop to reside within city limits. But if you can have these guys around, you should consider it spurs and all. Roosters are protectors and providers for their hens. They take the bullet for their ladies in a heartbeat and will watch the sky for the hawks while hens busily scratch and peck at the goodies on the ground. I adore having roosters around. I haven't always had the best experience with their spurs. I've been chased by and spurred by roosters in the past, but at the end of the day, their value is priceless and I'd never keep a free range flock without a rooster. With that being said, there are some rotten eggs in the bunch. Not every rooster is going to be safe and respectful to you. Sometimes the rule don't bite the hand that feeds you doesn't apply to an aggressive rooster. Consider freezer camp or selling to someone willing to butcher him in those cases. For questionable roosters, always watch your back and do the following to ensure you don't get hurt. One, never turn your back on a dubious rooster. Two, don't bend down near an aggressive rooster. Three, wear pants, strong jeans to avoid puncture wounds. Four, take something with you in the coop to protect yourself if you're suddenly attacked. On the flip side, if you have a rooster that's typically sweet and all of a sudden he's a nervous wreck, maybe he needs something. Happy roosters don't usually freak out on people if they have everything they need, including plenty of hens, food and water, a clean coop, safety and shelter. A roo that's missing any of these things may turn into a stressed out hot mess and he may take it out on you. 
Before you assume he's one of the rotten ones, consider what you can do to change his attitude. It could be something as simple as closing the coop up at night to keep the cats out. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learn something new, make sure you subscribe to the channel and share the video. With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.